Hi guys, getting ready to do your I love reading for you. This is for the week. Let's see what's going on this week for you. All right, this is for Cancer and let me start. You have Seven of Swords, so you may be wanting to sneak out of a relationship or leave, or you may be with the lovers. Let me Eight of so yeah, you're, it's, you feel trapped in a relationship is what I'm getting. There could be a third party. You could already have met someone that you are interested in, but not necessarily. Nine of Cups is the past, and now Five of Cups is the future, or how you're feeling now. You are the chariot. You are moving forward. People are seeing you as maybe being dreamy, got too many things going on in your mind. Your hopes is a Queen of Cups or a King of Cups, and your outcome is juggling two people or two things. Underneath the deck is the hangman. So some of you may be confused, not sure what to do next, waiting. <clears throat> so I see, what I'm seeing here is you got into a relationship, but it didn't turn out the way you were thinking. This five of cups does not have to be horrible, um, but it is across, you're happy, then something happened and now you're very sad. There could have been cheating. There could have been three people with a three of coin. Um, there could have been. doesn't have to be that way. could be that you are ready to sneak out of the relationship because you are feeling very trapped. It's not what you thought it would be. You're not happy. Um, you thought you would be, but it's not. Your foundation, though, is either you're trying to get along, you're trying to work things out, or I'm almost getting like you're trying to just hide your emotion. Your Other people around you don't know what's going on. But you definitely want to leave, and I think this is a good idea with, with the chariot energy being your in the position of you. Um, others around you that are seeing you kind of, I don't know, dreamy, daydreaming, not really focused. Uh, they probably don't know what you're thinking or doing. Maybe you're confusing them because um, even though you're trying to act this way, you're feeling, you know, trapped this way. And you may not be doing anything again with that um, hangman. It's like you're not making a decision. You're hoping for, I don't know if this is another person, a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Maybe you're hoping you would have fallen in love with this person or that you would, um, you know, it could be, of course, putting yourself first, but um, it could be falling in love with someone or, or just meeting that right person. Maybe this person wasn't romantic enough for you. You wanted more romance and more emotion and they're just very quiet or, you know, it could be anything. But your outcome's a two of coins, so you are still trying to figure out what to do. You aren't quite sure, I feel, which path to take. Because I can see here, well, let's, we'll put some cards on here and see. This, this will help clarify. Seven of Swords, please. Yeah, again, you're the Five of Cups. Something is just, it did not turn out the way you were hoping in love. And there are better options, I feel, around you or out there. Six of Cups. This could be someone from your past, but it doesn't have to be. Um, it could be a relationship that you thought there was more like, I don't know, kindness in or gentleness or the relationship itself is okay. There's something about that you, you just don't like, like the six of cups is a great card. And so is the lovers. Maybe there's children involved. Maybe you're always having to watch their children or something. I'm not sure. What is the nine of cups? But it's just not, you know, what you wanted. Yeah. Five of rods. So it could be you thought this was going to be great. The setup you thought was going to be wonderful, but now there's just a lot of conflict. There's fighting. There's different of opinions. They want you to do one thing because you are feeling trapped here. So as I'm saying, maybe they have kids and now they want you to stay home and watch the kids instead of you being able to go out. But you're saying, no, get the mom to watch them. I'm not your babysitter. I mean, that's just an example only because I see the little children here on the Six of Cups and you're feeling trapped. So what is the Eight of Swords? The Empress. Okay, you feel like you're you're beautiful. You're valuable. You feel like maybe this person is, is making you feel like you're in a cage. Like you can't go out and do anything. Um, and you should be out being admired. You have a lot of other suitors. You have other options out there. But there is something about this relationship that you do like. But I, I feel like the bad outweighs the good. Three of coin. <clears throat> the Emperor. Yeah, this guy rules with the iron fist. It's his way or the highway. You don't like that. You're trying to work with them, him or her. But they're just always, you know, it's my way. That's what they're saying. 
Um, I want you to do this or that. Just too controlling. Five of Cups. Tower. Yeah, you're ready to blow this. You're ready just to go. You want to leave. I can see that. Chariot. Ten of Coin. You want long-term stability with the Ten of Coin. That's everything. You want the family. You want the kid, the dog, the financial support. And I think that's what you thought you're going to get out of this relationship, but it turns out it's not going to be. Either that or that. Or this is definitely what you're moving toward. This relationship didn't fulfill you, and you are going to move and look for this instead. You feel like there's opportunities out there for you. Better ones. Seven of Cups. Fool. Yeah, you're getting ready to make a decision to leave. So that's why people, I think you're like, you got a lot of things you need to do, get in order with the Seven of Cups. You got to do this and that and figure things out, but you are getting ready to move on. People don't realize that though, or you're this person. They actually can't tell. They don't know that's what you're planning. So for the Seven of Swords, if you try, are trying to sneak out and get away from this, because if they are very controlling in some sense and you're feeling trapped, then you are feeling like you have to keep things private and secret, but you are planning this. This is... Um, I don't think I don't see them feel I'm thinking you're the, you know you're going to start a new adventure. I think they're just kind of like yeah, they're not really sure what you're doing is what I'm getting. Queen of Cups. What is this energy here? Hierophant. Yeah, I feel like you want someone more loving. This person didn't turn out loving or they didn't turn out the way you thought. You want to get married, I feel with a Hierophant or you don't. Either way, either way you want to leave like tradition behind or you want tradition um you want that, they're like to me I'm getting like, you want the traditional romance. You want someone to um, do kind things for you if you're a guy, you know, dote on you. Um, tell you did a great job, you know, you did a great job at work today. Um, or, you know, if you're, you want the guy to, to take you out or whatever it means to you. That's kind of what I'm feeling. You, you wanted something that would fill your heart. So they're, they're not filling your heart with what you need, that nurturing or that love to a coin please yeah <clears throat> seven of rods you're defending yourself so your outcome um with the seven of rods either you're fighting your own self for whatever reason why you're not leaving or you're the you know the voices in your head kind of the seven of wands can be all the reasons you shouldn't go or you can't find someone or you can't make it on your own or Whatever it represents to you. It's like you're fighting with yourself with the Seven of Wands. Because I don't feel like there's anyone else really coming at you at this point. Um, yes, it could be them. But I feel like all this is in your, your own mind right now. You're trying to decide what to do, how to get out, out of there. Because uh, you are weighing up two options, what to do. And it is making you emotional. So you are trying to figure something out. <clears throat> Excuse me. You may feel like the Seven of Cups energy. You just have a lot of things to sort out. You may have been in this relationship for a while. Maybe you have mixed monies at this point or, you know, obligations. <clears throat> Excuse me. Maybe there are children involved for some of you. They're not your kids. They're his, but you really do love the kids and you've grown very attached to them. So on one hand, you know, you're going to miss the kids with the five of cups. You're going to miss something about this relationship, but you feel like it's time to go. You need to go. Maybe you don't want the children to know you're leaving and you are, you know, sad about that. So I could definitely see different ways of this working out for you, but you are planning on leaving. And again, the spread would tell me that it's probably a good idea with the chariot in your energy here it looks like this is meant to be for you to move on and let me put one more card down on your outcome there you are again queen of cups your cup is just not <clears throat> i'm so sorry your cup is just not full or full in this relationship again i don't necessarily think there's a third party for some of you there could be a water sign out there another one scorpio pisces another cancer and that could be where you're juggling the person you're with versus a um, water sign. But again, if it's if it's not a third party already coming in or someone else type of thing, it, I feel like it's just you're not your emotions aren't being you know fulfilled in this relationship, and and you really are feeling um, 
I feel like lonely with that five of cups sadness and you're just, you just are ready to get out of there as quick as you can. So, all right, I'm going to leave your reading here. Have a great week, you guys, and take care.